vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients for stroke prevention. Strokes can seem to happen suddenly and have a catastrophic impact on a person's life. You may be wondering how to help provide protection against a first or subsequent stroke if you are at risk of having one, have already had one, or are taking care of someone who has. For the prevention and recovery of stroke, nutrition is essential. You can ensure that you're getting enough of the best nutrients for preventing stroke by starting with the meals you eat. Ingredients to avoid stroke. Is a stroke caused by a poor diet? Undoubtedly, it may raise your chances of getting one. Your diet has a significant impact on your chances of developing a number of chronic illnesses, including stroke. Even while obtaining a balance of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins is a common goal, it's beneficial to consider other nutrients found in your diet. Consuming a wide variety of foods is necessary to achieve optimal nutrition. The following is a discussion of some of the finest nutrients to help prevent stroke. Number 1 Fatty Acids Omega-3 DHA and EPA are two types of omega-3 fats that have strong anti-inflammatory properties. In the context of atherosclerosis, they can also lessen platelet aggregation and aid in reducing plaque accumulation. Higher circulating DHA levels were found to be inversely correlated with incident atherothrombotic stroke risk in a systematic literature review. According to certain studies, omega-3 fatty acids may even provide some neuroprotective advantages to stroke survivors. Number 2 Water Drinking enough water facilitates the heart's easier blood pumping. Water is essential for good heart health since the heart pumps roughly 2,000 liters of blood per day. According to research, the majority of elderly patients with stroke who arrived at hospitals were dehydrated, as determined by plasma osmolarity, and their prognosis was worse. This could occur as a result of your blood thickening due to dehydration, which lowers blood volume and puts undue strain on the heart. Blood clots are more likely to occur in thickened blood, which raises the risk of stroke. Chronically dehydrated people are also more likely to have high blood pressure. The brain tells the pituitary gland to narrow blood arteries when your body's cells are dehydrated. Elevated blood pressure is a significant risk factor for stroke. Maintaining optimal heart health and preventing primary and secondary strokes need drinking enough of water. A fluid limit may be necessary for some persons, and each person will need a different amount. Number 3 Tissue The nutrient fiber, which is exclusive to plant-based diets, reduces the risk of hemorrhagic stroke. Eating 7 grams of fiber a day decreased the risk of stroke by 7%, according to a systemic review and meta-analysis of 8 cohort studies. According to another meta-analysis, people who ate 3 to 5 servings of dietary fiber per day had a 26% lower risk of ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke. Number 4 Vitamin D Studies reveal that most stroke victims have insufficient vitamin D levels, and vitamin D deficiency is a global health epidemic. Consequently, a lack of vitamin D may be one of the risk factors for stroke. To determine the precise relationship between the two and to explain why, more research is required. For prevention and the best possible recovery, it is still crucial to make sure that sufficient consumption or supplementation occurs both before and after an acute stroke. Number 5 Magnesium 8% lower risk of overall stroke, notably ischemic stroke, was linked to an extra 100 mg of magnesium from diet per day in a meta-analysis of seven prospective studies involving 241,378 participants. Additionally, it has been discovered to be particularly significant in preventing subsequent strokes. This could be as a result of the critical function magnesium plays in favorably affecting the heart's electrical signals. In order to maximize appropriate blood flow to the rest of the body, this enables the heart to fill with blood before it contracts correctly. Additionally, magnesium affects how calcium, sodium, and potassium flow across cell membranes. Number 6 Potassium In a single meta-analysis, potassium levels were evaluated in 11 distinct studies using statistical analysis that synthesizes the findings of several scientific investigations. A 21% decreased risk of stroke was shown to be linked to 1,600 mg greater potassium consumed daily. According to a different study, postmenopausal women who consumed the highest amounts of potassium had a 27% decreased risk of ischemic stroke, which is the most prevalent kind of stroke. In addition to a 21% lower risk for all forms of stroke as compared to those who consumed the least potassium. Potassium lowers the risk of stroke by reducing the effects of salt, raising blood pressure, and enhancing the heart-healthy elements included in diets high in potassium. For example, a lot of foods high in potassium also have fiber in them. Number 7 Vitamin B12, Folate, and Vitamin B6 To prevent elevated homocysteine levels, vitamin B12, 
folate, and vitamin B6 are essential. High blood levels of homocysteine, a common amino acid, have been linked to an early risk of heart disease and stroke, according to research. Elevated homocysteine levels hasten the development of atherosclerosis. It also has a deleterious effect on smooth muscle cells and endothelium, the tissue lining blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, and the heart. This implies that increased homocysteine may have a deleterious effect on the anatomy and functionality of the arteries. A warning note. It is undeniable that diet plays a major role in heart health maintenance as well as stroke prevention and recovery. Whenever feasible, it's preferable to obtain your nutrients from entire food sources rather than supplements. Why? Certain supplements may potentially make heart health worse and interact negatively with drugs. For instance, blood thinners are prescribed to certain stroke risk individuals. However, these drugs may combine with specific supplements to make the blood too thin. Supplemental potassium may cause cardiac death. Before incorporating any new supplements into your regimen, especially if you're on any medications or have trouble getting all the nutrients you need from whole meals, consult a cardiology dietitian. Dot. Your body's requirement for these nutrients will vary depending on your blood type, current intake, age, sex, weight, and medical history. Find out more about my one-to-one -one customized services here for specific dietary advice.